light. What is up, you far out interdimensional beings? Thanks for being here. Today, we're going over Utopia Genesis Foundation. And this one, ooh, we, is, is, is it new? Is it new? So, we've got something here. This is so new. First off, I just wanna say a few things. One, beware of rug pulls. I don't want anyone to become a victim of a rug pull. Um, I do cover some things that borderline that, that could eventually turn into uh, one of those. And uh, the reason I covered it is not to tell you to go off and invest in it, is to show you the project and how cool the crypto space is becoming and what is to come in the future for crypto and not necessarily Oh, you should go do this so it'll and it'll moon overnight and I, there's nothing get rich quick about this um, so I want to say that first disclaimer the second one is uh, please like and subscribe even share this video if you find it uh, interesting which I hope you do so utopia Genesis is a company that is is revolutionizing the music industry uh, which has a near and dear place to my heart as that was one of the that was pretty much the motto of one of my first businesses I tried to start in college um, so anyways uh, Utopia Genesis has a market a self-reported market cap of nine hundred and seventy thousand dollars and a 24-hour volume of nine point eight thousand so sorry nine thousand eight hundred dollars and there, so that's very, very low, and I mean very low. The very, very low market cap, and it's a very, very low 24-hour volume. Very, very low. The, and I don't know if you heard me say it, but it's very low. And its max supply is 100 million, and currently their self-reported circulating supply is 10 million. Uh, so they've got 10% in the market right now. Their price point in the last year, they're like, ooh, yeah, they're on the low side of things. They're on the low side of things. They were trading at 59 cents. Um, and we're just gonna look at that. So over the last year, they, they did make it to 59 cents, drop down um, to what they're at right now, which is nine cents. And I can't tell you <laughs> why uh, it hit 60 cents. Uh, with a market cap of $970,000. But Utopia Genesis Foundation actually seems pretty promising just because they have a rather unique um, go at the music industry. So while they have a unique take on the market, they also have a huge competitor, Audience. It's an indirect competitor, but a competitor nonetheless. And could they take some of the features from Utopia Genesis Foundation and implement them themselves? I really think so. Um, because Audius seems to be tackling this from the streaming side of crypto, uh, more so along the lines of like a, a SoundCloud for crypto. Um, but this seems to be more of the contract side of things where you know the musicians are actually getting paid so without further ado let's take a look at the website their framework uh, a blockchain framework for everyone in the music industry so in their mission they talk about not only will it increase the pool of potential investors in music copyrights, but it'll create investors that are highly incentivized to contribute however possible to the commercial success of the copyrights that they have invested in so Essentially, this is taking the the music industry and just flipping it upside down because previously uh, the record companies would screw over the musicians by offering them a very, very low percentage and taking the rest for themselves, yada, yada, yada. Everybody knows that. So here, uh, the, the musician mints their music into an NFT and then they're able to sell it to the public or sell it to... Uh, the investors or whatever, you know, a, a record label or whatever wants to buy it, um, but they're also incentivized to make that artist money uh, as well. Um, so it's value all around for everybody. Um, this provides value 
to the record labels and it also provides value to the musician by getting them paid way more but it also disrupts the way that the music industry works right now and that you know is a little you know a healthy ecosystem is not necessarily what every record company wants to see moving along the token fuels the network and they have obviously all of this same crypto stuff that all the other ones have i am breezing through that because it doesn't need to be you know there's obviously going to be uh, some sort of governance there's going to be token utilization there's going to be you know the whole explanation of that but the roadmap is important um so they're creating that decentralized blockchain so that they can have um artists upload their nfts their music and maintain control of their copyrights um so we're out of uh we're in q4 so new tech team contracted upgrade the home page pilot test running for the genesis music pool um and then Development of Genesis Copyright, an intellectual property protection platform for music copyrights built on the blockchain, and a marketing strategy. So, uh, upgrades across all platforms complete, launch of Genesis Music Pool in Q1 of 2022. So this is like a month away, two months away. Cross-chain initiation for Genesis Arts and UOP token. So um, that's gonna be important too. Cross-chain is everything now. That says that they're working on some things, they're working on some good things um, that will be available to us very soon. Uh, maybe this is something that you might want to think about looking up for yourself because this one seems pretty cool. Uh, so they also have a 13.7 uh, follower base on Twitter and their engagement is not really there. There's obviously some sort of competition in the market for these guys. Uh, and whether or not they can pull it off is what's going to make it um, go to the moon, is if they pull it off. Under a million dollar market cap, we'll see. I don't know what that means. That's a little scary. And they've been around for a year. So, like, what? You know? Um, makes me think. But another thing I want to talk about real quick, because this goes beyond the Utopia Genesis Foundation, this goes to anyone that is creating some sort of plat platform, blockchain for musical artists to get on, own their music, sell their music, and maintain the copyrights for all of their stuff. So what are the benefits of tokenizing your music? Uh, you keep 100% of the rights, obviously, uh, and sell the percentage you wish of your royalty, for example, uh, be it mechanical, performance, or sync. Uh, then you can open up a catalog from fan to institutional level investments on a global scale. Um, right now, if someone wants to invest in music uh, catalogs, they need to be within a certain capital bracket as they're not just open to anybody, uh, which they will be uh, with Utopia Genesis Foundation. Uh, obviously, the nature of the blockchain, you'll have full transparency to what is being paid when it comes to having instant access to information in the funds. Um, automatic split, so if you have collaborators working on your music, everyone gets paid their share right away via the sale and what's called a smart contract. So a smart contract is a piece of code that automates the execution of a, an agreement. Real-time transactions, reduction of intermediaries potentially, um, cutting out some of the middlemen. And that's, that's a good one, focusing on, I wanna focus on the reduction of intermediaries potentially. So why it's saying potentially is because some of the middlemen, for instance, people in the record labels, managers, producers, all of that stuff, you can't cut out all of them, and uh, but some of them will be cut out from technological advancements of the music industry so that is good for both sides that is good for um, the record company so that they know okay well all of what we are is not being overturned all of what we are is not being cut out but parts of um, this supply chain from making the music to distributing it and and getting the money for it um, the, the intermediaries involved will be reduced. Um, community building with the fan base who can invest and share 
uh, in the success of your future releases. And then you can also reward for the, uh, the fan base and you can give a percentage of royalty that returns to the other incentives. Uh, the percentage being sold by the artist to be looked at as uh, another form of merch. Um, exposure to a new type of customer as alternative investments for blockchain natives being bought and sold in uniqueness, scarcity, and creativity all rolled into one and tokenized copyrights potentially tick all those boxes. So uh, this is a pretty informative article. You can find it on their medium. Uh, it's music tokenization, how it will change the music industry and why you should care. Um, but they have a bunch of other good stuff on their medium as well. I highly recommend going and checking them out. Um, but this is definitely going to be something that I circle back to in the next uh, month or so because I want to see what they do in Q1 when they release their, their platform. Um, and I want to see where that goes because right now it really seems like a good time to enter in. Um, and I'm really, really thinking about it, but you can only get it on Bitfinex and SushiSwap right now. So I'm going to figure out how to get this token um, without um, paying all these crazy gas fees. So we'll see. All right. That is it for the Utopia Genesis Foundation. If you know something more uh, about the music industry and crypto, if you know about another cryptocurrency that is involved in NFTs and music production, uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of it in comparison to Utopia Genesis Foundation, and we'll have a good old fashioned conversation about it. All right, peace.